be born in, in our faith, in our love to God, in, in our love for one another. My friends, in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, to all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. We receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Lord God, we praise you for creating man, and still more for restoring him in Christ. Your Son shared our weakness, may we share his glory, for he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark! Your watchmen raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people, he redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp. <coughs> with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout, shout with joy to the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. A reading from the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, 
God spoke impartial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. <clears throat> From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, God, who is at the Father's side has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If we consider the psalm that we proclaim today celebrating Christmas, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. <coughs> the truth of the matter is that not all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. And that Jesus came and not all knew he had come. And he gathered twelve. And from those twelve, certain apostles, Peter, James, and John, had special uh, revelation given to them by Jesus. He shared with them a special moment. Not all were present. 
and not all have seen the saving power of God. But God has come. And today we celebrate the fact that God is present. He has come into our world. Uh, we are called to be always watching and ready. But also as seminarians and as priests to be, and as priests we, we are called to bring God's saving message to all, to all the nations. As we stand at this moment in time celebrating Christmas, we celebrate God's beginning, in a sense, and, and His salvation, what He will fulfill through Jesus Christ, being born, His incarnation, His taking our humanity, and then saving us by allowing Jesus, calling His Son to die for us. And so, as we contemplate this moment in time, we contemplate also our fulfillment as we continue to press on and press forward to the priesthood. We, we pray that God may strengthen us as the Word is already in us. The Word has made its home in our temples. We are covenants also of that Word. We are called to, we are tabernacles of that Word. We are called to bring that Word to others and allow that Word to change, transform, and give life. So as we contemplate this moment in time, we contemplate God's presence in us, God, God's presence in the world and all around us. And if God is present, then uh, salvation has come to us, and salvation is ours. May we wholeheartedly give ourselves to allowing God's Word to become present to all nations, to all peoples. Amen.
Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. Accept our thanks also for the Christians who live here, faithful to your word and to this land. Make us attentive to their necessities and generous in witnessing to them the affection and solidarity of our church. Let us pray. Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. Lord Jesus, who came to bring us peace, listen to the prayers of the inhabitants of this city, Hear their cry for help, and see their condition. United to their prayer, we ask also for ourselves the ability to collaborate with every person of goodwill in favor of justice and peace. Let us pray. Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. Prince of Peace, have mercy on us and help us to welcome the gift of your peace, converting our hearts to mercy and pardon. And we begin to work for peace in ourselves, our families, and our country, and so learn to testify your peace everywhere and to everyone. Let us pray. Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. Lord Jesus, child of Bethlehem, we pray to you especially for the children of Bethlehem. Help us to defend in every circumstance the respect due to all children, committing ourselves to the construction of a fairer and more peaceful world, where every child will be able to grow in age wisdom, and grace. Let us pray. Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. Lord Jesus, here, born of the Virgin Mary, bless every mother and all mothers. Give them serenity, courage, a spirit of sacrifice, and the joy of seeing their children grow in age and wisdom and grace. Let us pray. Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. Bless our families, Lord Jesus. Grant to every family harmony and peace, serene, laboriousness, sobriety of life, prayerfulness, and the joy of knowing themselves to be sustained and guided by your word. Let us pray. Hear us, Jesus, Savior of the world. In bringing all our praise before God our Father, we trust in the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus, accept our prayers and our sincere gratitude. Let the grace of this holy place accompany us always. We may give concrete, concreteness and joy to our faith in you who are God and live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Here again is we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of me, become for us a bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Dear goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the divine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With St. Jerome, a student, Paula and Stokia. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Almighty God, the saving work of Christ made our peace with you. 
we are offering today, renew that peace within us and give you perfect praise. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the wonder of the incarnation, your eternal word has brought to the eyes of faith a new and radiant vision of your glory. In him we see our God made visible, and so are caught up in a love of the God we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory, and join in their unending hymn of praise. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus omnius Deus Sabaoth, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Osana in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, We offer them for your holy Catholic Church, watch over it, Lord, and guide it, granted peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Benedict our Pope, for our Bishop, and for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those whom, for whom we now pray. Pray for our seminarians in a special way, all that are gathered here, and all our brother seminarians, and brother priests throughout the world. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole Church, we honor Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. And we celebrate this day when Mary, without loss of her virginity, gave the world its Savior. We honor Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. We honor Joseph, her husband, the apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. We honor Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant help and protection. Father, accept this offering from your whole family, grant us your peace in this life, save us from final damnation, and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering, make it acceptable to you, an offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. The day before he suffered, he took bread in his sacred hands. And looking up to heaven to you, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drain from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of a new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me.
on your stay. We told the secrets of the misery no is on your stay. We told the secrets of the misery no is on your stay. We told the secrets of the This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be you.
Let us pray. Father, the child born today is the Savior of the world. He made us your children. May he welcome us into your kingdom where he lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. When he came to us as man, the Son of God scattered the darkness of this world and filled this holy day with his glory. May the God of infinite goodness scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your hearts with holiness. Amen. Amen. God sent his angels to, to shepherds to, help, to herald the great joy of our Savior's birth. May he, fill with, may he fill you with his joy and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. When the Word became man, earth was joined to heaven. May he give you his peace and goodwill and fellowship with all the heavenly hosts. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our God and